We weren't expecting you people. What is she talking about? Do we now need uh, an invitation to visit our brother? Anyway, we mm -hmm. to see our brother and tell how he's coping with all the trauma you're putting him through. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. I was actually on my way to the market to buy some foodstuffs. Who cares? Amanda. Why do you waste your saliva and work yourself up? Must you answer everything? age and time you would disregard courtesy to call and inform me before coming to pay me a visit. Uh -uh, Gerard, we are not here to pay attention to any formality. Very well then, why are you here? Brother, why are you sounding as if you don't know the reason why we are here? Mm -hmm. I mean the lady you've been sapping around town calling your wife. Hey, shh, 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 hold your peace right there. Man. Please, just hold your peace right there. Gerard, are you shouting down your sister because she's trying to tell you the truth? What truth, Mama? What lousy truth? What bloody truth? How many times am I going to tell you that that woman, she is a noble woman, a very nice lady, and she is part of this family? I wonder why you refuse to accept her. I would not accept a woman that has refused to give me a grandchild. This family needs a child! <laughs> God, Mama, you just make me laugh. Where on earth is she going to find the power to make babies? Tell me. Uh-uh, Gerard. Don't defend her in my presence. I am sure that she must have aborted so many babies in her spin salad. Oh, please do not say that of her. Oh, I beg of you, please. Look, I am of a strong belief that we are going to have a baby. I mean, we've um, seen a couple of doctors and they all say the same thing. So what is that same thing they've been telling you? That either of us do not have a problem. So what are you waiting for? Pay for Neje? Brother. I can't believe with your education and exposure, you're still listening to all these doctors. Look, I suggest you get another wife. Simple. I cannot believe that you both came all this way to lecture me against my moral and biblical standard of what marriage is. I can't believe that either. Well, I'm still suggesting. In fact, I have one waiting for you. If you're in doubt, don't even pay her bride price. Let her deliver one child and you guys can get married later. Simple. All I need is a child in this family. problem in this family. Oh, baby, I'm sure you heard what I told them too. Jenny, please. Do not succumb to the antics and blame yourself for all of this. No, don't do that. Why? Why can't I conceive? Why? Jenny, because it's... It's not the appointed time. It's not God's time for us to experience that privilege. That's, that's just what it is. We're Christians, right? And we believe that God is the Alpha and Omega. We're just waiting for his appointed time for him to make things right. That's all. I'm sorry, Gerald. I'm beginning to lose hope. Why can't I conceive like my friends? Don't say that. Why can't I have children of my own? Oh, no, don't say that. You will. You will. Okay? Remember what the doctor said? The doctor said we are sound medically, right? Look, 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 look at me. The secret, the secret to all of this is to wait upon the Lord. Open your heart. Open your heart, baby. And you realize that God is not dead. He's alive. 
Okay. Don't cry, please. Don't shed tears. Amanda, I can see you're enjoying yourself. How long have you been standing here? I meant the music. I can see you're really enjoying yourself. What are you doing here? Well, I have to. Ah! Don't I see what? I, I actually wanted to surprise you and Mama by coming to spend some time with you. Huh? You want to do what? Good for me. Mama! 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 Hey! Hey! Mama! See what's happening? Who we have here? No. Good afternoon, Mama. She said she has come to spend some time here with us. I wanted to surprise you and Amanda by coming to spend time. Oh, will you shut up? How well will I make you understand that you are not welcome in this house? I am going to go inside. By the time I come out, I don't want to see you anywhere around this neighborhood. Do you understand? Mama, I... Amanda, you watched. You heard her, right? Pack your things now. You're a woman like me. You and I should be friends. I said pack your things and leave this house. Or are you, you want me to push you? I just wanted to go and spend some time. Oh, you, you, you're looking for my trouble, right? Are, are you looking for my trouble? No, just are you looking for my trouble? Why are you looking for my trouble? God knows the real you. If you have succeeded in deceiving every other person out there, my dear, it won't work with you. Because I know your antics. Mm. To liquidate my brother and leave him to the rest of the world to mock, right? Well, it won't work. Listen, Amanda. But for the little piece remaining in my heart, I will have smashed your head this minute. Go ahead and smash. What are you waiting for? Go ahead! Amanda! Three kids each between them. What are you waiting for? Oh, you think I don't know your boyfriend? Amanda! Leave my house the second! Which house? Childless house? Who wants to stay in the first place? I should have gone to my brother and delivered a message instead of coming here. Leave my house, you witch.
Jenny. I can't believe you make an issue out of what Amanda said. Huh? Jared. Why would you be bothering yourself about it? Oh, come on, Jared. Your sister came here calling me all sorts of names. Now she was this close to igniting the beast in me. Now how I controlled my temper, I still don't know till now. That's because you're exceptional, dear. You're unique, rare, different. And those are no qualities you find in every woman. I want you to see yourself as that. Don't put yourself in the same category as Amanda. I am your husband. You're not answerable to her. All the same, Gerald, I think you should call her to order. This is our matrimonial home, and we are doing everything possible to stay as one strong family. She just can't come in here and poke her nose in our private affairs. It's wrong. No. Come on, Jenny. Why are you talking like you do not know that my mom is the one feeling all her antics and pranks? Huh? Come on. I am your husband, Gerald Chukuma, your husband. Don't forget that. Don't let anybody come between us. Do you hear me? You know why? Because I love you. With all my heart. Okay? Thanks, Gerald. I love you too. I love you much more. Really? Let me show you. Show me. <laughs> show me. <laughs> Yeah. And that's exactly what I've been battling all these days before I finally decided to get back home, you know. Bro, those guys hit me. Those guys wrecked me like everything. Everything I've worked for, my life savings, everything just you know, just 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 went down the drain like like I could just feel, you know, just everything, everything just, I just lost them. It's okay. It's okay, Colin. Don't worry about it, okay? Just, um, it's not the end of the world. You understand what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm really happy that you're back alive, you know? It gives you the opportunity and the chance to, you know, reestablish yourself, you know, get your feet back, you know? Just see it as, you know, that, you know, an event in your past. You know. Don't worry, okay? All will be fine. We'll just, um... How much of this have you told Mama yet? Mama... Oh. I've not told her anything. Because I know she can take it, so... I decided to tell you first, my big brother. You, you know the best way to tell her. Well, that's a very good idea, okay? We're just gonna um, leave it that way. We're just gonna keep this between us, okay? Don't tell Mama or anybody else about this. All right, that's the only way we can sell this trip, you know? Until we find you a very good job and office for you to operate. In the meantime, this is gonna be between us. Do, do, you, catch my, do you catch my drift? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it in. I really appreciate it. I mean, if you're not here, who, what, what, what would I have done? But don't worry about it, Collins. Don't even go there. It's, it's my responsibility, and you would have done likewise for me if I find myself in the same situation, right? Yeah. So, um, you know what I want you to do for me? What? I want you to laugh. Laugh? Yeah. Laugh, laugh, you know. Laugh like, um, like you're losing your mind. Like you're going insane. <laughs> Laugh? Why? Why would I want to do that? <laughs> because we want to give the impression that everything is all right and all is well with them. You understand what I'm saying? You know, you just laugh like you, <laughs> like you're going mad. <laughs> <laughs> As if we won lottery. <laughs> well, 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 we didn't win any lottery. The lottery is that he's back. He's back for good. I mean, he went, uh, he saw, and then he conquered. And then he's back. He's back home. He's back to the family. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you want some drink, mom? Sit down. Let me pour you a drink. I don't want to laugh like you. <laughs> mom, it's just laughter. It's not insanity. <laughs> Come on, mom. Come sit down. Where 
Where is everybody? You mean Mama and Aunt Amanda? Yeah. They left very early this morning. Oh. Without even telling me. They left before my mother and woke up. This morning, and I was surprised. I didn't see you guys. Maybe you just left without even telling me. Do you expect me to stay in that house and be tempted to eat from the kitchen of that witch? Oh, you know, I left it. Oh, whoa. Okay. So, what about me then? Collis, you're a man, and I know you can cope. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. Of course, you know I was that. <laughs> So what about Amanda? I uh, thought you guys left together. No. Amanda went to the salon to make her hair. Salon? Oh yeah, she told me about it. She told me. Alright, fine. Maybe you just tell me where she is uh, when I'm done here. I could go pick her. You want to go out now that you just came in. Would you eat anything? Or have you eaten from that witch's kitchen? What? <laughs> me? Hell no, of course you know I won't. You want her to kill me? <laughs> Please. I was actually... Ah! Oh. Yeah, I wanted to ask you if you had some food because I am famished. You know your mother. I will always have something. Just give me one second. Hey, mom, do you, you have something to drink? Red wine, white? I'll give you one, child. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just kidding. I know you wouldn't have Exceptionally good. Okay. 
I was wondering if we could talk for a minute. It's nothing serious, honestly. I, I heard that the US is very cold and it's so much fun. And owing to the fact that you just got back, I wanted to ask you what it's like over there. <laughs> what? Wait, is this why you called me back? No, no, seriously, is this why you stopped me? I'm um, coming to we, we haven't said much since you came. I just. Obviously. I don't have time for this. Where are you going? And what sort of silly question is that? Huh? I mean, what's your freaking business where I go to? Tell me. Sorry. Teach me this, Collins. Teach me that. I even here on some sort of teaching practice or whatever. What does she really want? Oh, she thinks we are Gerard that she has totally bewitched, right? All I will say is that you have to be very careful. Collins, are you sure you're comfortable staying here? Well, I'm good. Don't bother yourself. I'm, I'm a man. I'm good. Hmm. Um. Blessing! Blessing! Huh? Where did you say your madam went to? Come talk to me, Mama, she went to the market. Market? Oh, bless She's already here. Oh. Welcome, Mama. Tifu, how's Amanda. I'm sorry, I went to the market. Uh, blessing. I got you, Sandy. You shouldn't listen. What did you just call my brother? Collins, or brother Collins? Uh, Amanda, that's not really my problem. Hey, I don't know what garbage you've got in there. Just take that crap out of my I thought you like it. Mama, what do I get for you? Me. I have eaten. Go, I have eaten. Go! She just told you she is. Just go, leave. Pounce. Uh, you know, I mean, I keep wondering how, how Brother Gerald got entangled with this fool. Hmm. Or is she just playing the fool? Because even a pig knows when to sign up. Like when you're not wanted, you know, you just, just go. She's shameless, that's why. Which is even the worst. Amanda. Bring the bags. Let's leave here. Mama, relax. I've not finished dealing with this now. both in this together, right? And I want this baby as much as you do. But please, I know how you 
you feel, but you don't have to agonize yourself about this all the time. Come on, cheer up. And daddy's back. <laughs> the beauty of an African woman is that she sees herself as a mother and she's always a mother to all. She derives so much pleasure in feeding the people. Now I am an African woman and I'm no longer comfortable with your continuous patronage of restaurants. You know, I just a bloody retard. Yeah. I mean, how else am I going to make you understand that I don't need your food? Huh? I mean, I don't need your goddamn food. You want me to speak French? What is wrong in asking my brother-in-law to eat? Um, to eat food? A lot, woman. A lot. Read my lips. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you with every drop of blood in me. I hate you. Collins! I am sorry! I will never pester you to eat my food again! Never! Every time I see Colin, Colin is going to eat this Colin, what? And who knows what's in the blood of food? Comfortable with the way you look. Collins, is there something you're not telling us? Mom, you won't believe what I'm about to tell you guys. Genevieve is pregnant. Three months pregnant. It's not true. You're calling me a liar now? Oh, please. Of course, you know I don't have any reasons to lie. I, I waited for it to match you before telling me. How is that possible? Anyway, if it is true that Genevieve is pregnant, I thank God. After all, that's all we've been praying for. I know. Now she'll be going around the house feeling like a peacock. Amanda. Showing off her men. Amanda. What? So how is she relating with you now? Me? No, we're good. We're fine. Since the last time we had the whole food squabbles, you know, been cool. We're keeping it cool. We're fine. Well, we still need to confirm if she's truly pregnant. And how about the uh, brother Gerald? How is he taking it? He didn't say anything to me. He just told me about it when they got the doctor's report, you know, some time ago. But since then, nothing. And for me, seeing is believing. Yeah, so I had to wait for, you know, for full telling you. Collins, why hasn't Gerard called me on phone to tell me the good news? Or the ma? I am sure they must have conspired to play a fast one on me. A fast one? I don't get it. What Mama is saying is fake pregnancy. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Fake pregnancy. Wait, wait. Can pregnancy be faked? Of course. In fact, that is the latest trend right now. Some of these barren women actually go around deceiving or suspecting neighbors into believing that they are actually pregnant. When they are not, they go behind them to go and adopt children. Amanda. I thank God.
You're welcome, Mama. Welcome, Auntie. Blessing. Ma? Why is this house so empty? Where are my sons? It's today, not Saturday. Mama, Sir and Brother Collins left about an hour ago. So it's just Madam and I her home now. She's inside her room. Should I go and call her for you? Just give me water to drink. Okay. okay. Mama, I am sorry to say this, but this is the zenith of laziness. I mean, even if she's carrying one million kids in her stomach, will it take her eternity to come downstairs? Amanda, you have never experienced the weakness that comes with pregnancy. That is why you sound like this. For your time will come. Oh, give you a look when you experience the same thing. Jenny, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Mama. I'm so sorry. I was trying to put on something. It's okay. We came to see you. So how are you? I'm fine. I'm very fine, thank you, Mama. Come, 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 come and sit here. Mama, sit down. I heard your husband went out. Yes, Mama. He went out. Jenny. Mama. All this happened and none of you bothered to tell me. Mama, we are sorry. But I, I think know. we wanted to surprise you. I don't know what mm -mm. Big Because... <laughs> it's okay. Thank God. Amanda. How are they doing, my dear? <laughs> they are being very well. I hope they are kicking. <laughs> yes. Yes. What of your back? Terrible. Really yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> Let me rub it for you. But put your shoulder here first. Let my grandchildren stay very well. Mama, thank you. Are you eating very well? Yes. Oh, you could be cool down. At last. Huh? Hey, my grandchildren. You know, I'm still wondering why you've not bothered to tell Mama about your, your wife. I mean, in present conditions. Is she the first woman to get pregnant that I should trumpet it? Huh? <laughs> What are you talking about? I mean, you've been married for like seven years without a child. And you think her mom hasn't been worried? Oh, trust me. She has told me abundantly how worried she is about it. That I know. That I very well know. Okay. Yeah. And you don't think it's reasonable to tell her right now that the situation has changed? Because our mom that I know too well, she might still be praying and fasting, not knowing her prayers have been answered. I think the best time for her to hear is when she delivers, if you ask me. That's my opinion. That's what I really think um, would be the best way to go about it. You know what I mean? Um, That's what I think would be the best time for her. Okay. You say so. I stepped in. confided in you so you can confide in me bro come and tell me what's what's eating you it's um it's it's really nothing you know it's really really nothing out of the ordinary system I, I would like you to do something for me and, uh, I would um <clears throat> I'd like you to do me a favor a favor Oh, Jesus, man. Is that why you were doing all that, the whole thinking? 
Hey, bro, if you want me to do you a favor, just ask. Because you know how to do it. Thank you very much. That's, that's very reassuring. It's just that um, <coughs> I, I'll be traveling on a business trip for a couple of weeks, you know, like about, uh, about two to three weeks. Okay. Yeah. Um, with your family then? No. That's the problem. I'm not going with that. That's why um, I'll need you to stand in for me in my absence, you know, be the man of the house, take charge of things, you know, handle things in my absence. That's what I want you to do for me. Okay. Is that all? That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you just tell me? Why were you doing all that and, and the whole thing you should have just told me? Of course you know I'll do anything for you. I've been so tense about this, you have no idea. Let's drink to this. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. Well, don't don't worry, I'll just do this one. I got your back, man. You just nice. don't, don't do this. It's been you, weighing man. me down, you have no <laughs> idea. Thank you so much for bringing me home. Madam, you don't have to thank me. He's my friend. And I know he can always do it for me. Thank you. Um, Madam, let me have a bit. Thank you.
Good morning. Um, what happened? I mean, yesterday. Oh, it was nothing. You got back with your friend Leo. I guess you guys had so much fun last night. Okay. So? Oh, <laughs> so you, you were actually dozing on the settee and I felt dozing in your room would have been better. So I, I helped you to your room. Uh, uh, wait, wait. You were in my room? I'm sorry about that. Yes. You know what? I woke up with my shirt off and with uh, a bottle of... What, what, that, uh, at, I don't take that. So? I took off your shirt. I, I felt you needed fresh air. And the Lucozet, I was certain that you needed it. Oh. You took off my shirt? Yes. Okay. Then the, the drink that I... Only a little. Very little. Then after that, what? What else? Nothing. Nothing. I, I just switched on your AC and and I left. Just. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait, wait. Are you? Are you sure there's no part of this you're not telling me? You know, like. No. No. There's just nothing. Nothing. I'm not telling you. As a matter of fact, Collins, I think you need something to eat. Why don't I quickly prepare something for you? Excuse me. What in this world have I been doing? This food is extremely tasty. Is this what I've been denying myself of?
Ah, this baby, oh daddy, eh? Say sorry, baby. I'm not sorry, baby. No. <laughs> sorry, baby. I'm not sorry, baby. No. <laughs> hey. What's sorry, up? baby. I'm not sorry, baby. I'm not mm. sorry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are having fun, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your father just called. Well, is uh, it's fine, right? It's oh good. yes, yes, it's fine. He's going to be back in two days. Is something wrong? Did I say anything wrong? Well, uh, uh, uh yeah, 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 I'm uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm good. I'm good. I was just uh, wondering if I've done well enough, you know. You know, my brother instructed me to take very good care of you guys. So I was just wondering if I've, I've really, you know, done well. You know? Oh, come on. You've done marvelously well. I must say, I am impressed. Really? Yes. Aren't you impressed, young man? Aren't you impressed, young man? <laughs> Aren't you impressed, young man? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll impress you the more. <laughs> Traveled. Hansen has been really ill, so Colincy has been helping us to the hospital. Yeah, you know, Gerald told me to take very good care of them and never leave them for any purpose. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, Miss Collins, can I speak to you in private? Oh, I. Excuse me, let me see how Hansen is doing. Said anything. All right. She. I didn't know you guys now relate so closely that she even speaks for you. Amanda, what's your problem? Huh? I mean, I thought we were only having problems with her because um, we thought she was bad. Now she's giving us a bouncing baby boy. So what? what? Huh? Besides, I've discovered a better way to deal with her. Which is? Which is? Relate with her like one of us, but whenever she messes up, tell her in plain language. Given as a child is not the issue. The issue here is that she's a witch. She has so charmed Gerard that he has totally forgotten about us. That is not true. I can tell you it's not true. Because Gerald and I still talk about our family as passionately as we used to, right? So this whole bewitch, witch, whatever, it's not true. Matthew called me. He said um, Gerald travelled for about a month now. Wait, what did you just say? Matthew again? Come, what's your problem? Huh? Look, that guy is a big liar, okay? And he just lied to you again. Because Gerald has only been away for like uh, two weeks and some days. Yes, and he called me a few hours ago to tell me that he'll be coming back tomorrow. So he's just been away for two weeks now? Yeah, two weeks. Okay, so how is Hansen? Hansen is fine. He's up there, you can go see him.
pull up, but you didn't call me to come pick you up. I'm really sorry. I met an old friend in the plane, okay? And then uh, the family came to pick him up at the airport, so they decided to drop me off at home, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, all right, cool. Don't worry, don't worry. Well, how's my wife? She's good. good. Oh, oh, oh. How's the baby? I missed you, baby. I missed you. How are you? Okay. Where's my soldier boy? Look at you. He's okay. Yes. <laughs> For every brand new day that passes, I see the wisdom in marrying you. You're the best. <laughs> you huh? always say that. I know, I'm beginning to sound like a broken CD, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, you are going to be late for your meeting if you don't stop the batteries. Baby, I do not work for nobody. I work for myself. Mm -hmm. I fix the meeting, I can put it on hold. And I appreciate God's own work in my wonderful wife's body. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby. The kind of love we share as brothers. Brothers. No one knows I'm just a stranger to you. What is wrong with him? He's been behaving strange lately. Yeah. I wonder. But, my love, mm. you are going to be late for your meeting. You really have to hurry. Okay, baby. I love you. Too. Love you too. Be careful. I will be. Hey. Yeah, one more. One more. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of love we share as brothers. Brothers. No one knows I'm just a stranger to you. Though we're same mother, we both share the blood together. Deep, deep down, yours is boiling against me. You're fooling your brother. Couldn't see all the little signs of hate, all little signs of hate, all those signs of envy, signs of hatred. Cause you're slimy like the snake. Couldn't feel all those little glass you throw. All those signs of to my pretty wife, you know. Cause we're same brothers. I made breakfast for you. Let me get it. I'm not hungry. Come, sir. You haven't asked me about Hansen or your brother. Well, you wouldn't be sitting down here filing your nails if Hansen wasn't any crisis, would you? As for my brother, I know he has gone to work. So why should I ask him? All your dream to keep my woman. All those smiles and works of envy. I know, yet you're my brother. my brother, your desire has got dimension, you, you can't plot, plot against your own blood. What's your stress? Huh? Get out of me. Tell me what I did to you. Look, you didn't do anything to me. Just get the hell out of me. No. Way. Tell me, Collins, if it's something I've done wrong, please, do tell me. What is it? What? Sister-in-law, this is wrong, not right. So I should apologize then? No. Huh? Let's just agree it doesn't ever happen again. You know, I never knew you actually hate me this much. No, I don't hate you. On the contrary, I do love you. But not in a man that will come between your brother and I. No. He has come to I'm your sister-in-law, married to your brother. The earlier you realize that the better for all of us. Alright, I will remember. I will remember. Perfect. Good. All your dream to keep my woman. All those smiles and works of envy. 
I know. Yet you're my brother. My brother. Your desire has got dimension. You, you can't plot, plot against, against your own blood. Gerald is showing off. He wants to make me feel inferior. Nah, I can't allow that to happen. I made money before him and he surely cannot treat me as a second fiddle just because tides turn. No way. The kind of love we share as brothers. brothers. No one knows I'm just a stranger to you. Though we're same mother. We both share the blood together. together. Deep, deep down, yours is boiling against me. You're fooling your brother. Uh, hey, honey, how are you? Look, um, I've been calling Colin since morning. I've been calling him all day. His phone is not going through. Is he in the house there with you? No, 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 he's not. He left the house this morning. Why would he switch up all his phones though? I don't know. Perhaps if you call his friends, it may be one of them saw him. Maybe. But I must say, my love, he looked extremely awful. I mean, really awful. Alright, I'm, I'm on my way home now, okay baby? I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Love you. I love you too. Bye. You're fooling your brother. Couldn't see all the little signs of hate, all little signs of hate, all those signs of envy, signs of hatred. Cause you're slimy like the snake. Couldn't feel all those little glass you throw. All those signs of to my pretty wife, you know. Cause we're same brothers. Yeah, hello. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, dude, this is Collins. Ah, Collins, what happened to you? I've been trying to reach you all day. Oh, yeah, uh, something came up and, uh, you know, I had to turn off. Really? Wow. Well, I hope all is well. Where are you now? Well, I'm just chilling somewhere. You know me. Uh, bro, could you meet me at the Oasis Park, close to the secretary? Yeah, 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 exactly. Something came up, something really huge, you know, and I, I think I've seen where you can invest about this yeah trust me real big like real real big okay well, I'll, I'll, um, I'll turn around now I'll see you in a bit okay all right cool thinking when you came here to buy a parcel of land huh bro i'm definitely not crazy right see i made a, a lot of inquiries before doing this and i hear a lot of big guys i mean vips are buying land here and trust me by the time they stop building the wait for a plot of land will definitely i mean definitely be like four to seven times what it is right now uh, if that's your conviction fine so where's the land yeah, just somewhere down there, close to the tree. But the road is not so good, so we just have to park here and stroll. You mean we're not there yet? No, no oh. but we, we can't. We can't go beyond this point with a car. Collins, yeah. um, I, I, I just, I don't like this place. I don't like this place for one single thing. Well, it's horribly weird. 
It's ludicrous. Yeah, I know. Well, it's okay if you don't like it. I just want to show you. If you're not okay with it, just set it off. Okay. The kind of love we share as brothers. brothers. No one knows I'm just a stranger to you. Though we're same mother, we both share the blood together. Deep, deep down, yours is boiling against me. You're fooling your brother. Couldn't see all the little signs of hate, all the signs of envy, signs of hatred. And yeah, uh, that's it. That's the development master plan. Everything is down there. Let's check it out. Oh, I see. They got huge plans, huh? All your dream to keep my woman All those smiles and works of envy I know Yet you're my brother My brother Your desire has got dimension You, you can't plot against your own blood Yet you're my brother the evil seed has been planted. Evil deep must be granted. We let you all be done. That's just the way you need it. Where is the love? Oh, na 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 na. Where is the love we share? Cause you say. Same mother, where is the love we share? Cause you're my brother. I don't understand what's happening. I mean, my husband isn't taking his call and he isn't calling me back either. But you can, you can go. Just, just go. Okay. We've actually been calling your number all day, wondering where you could be. Okay, uh, my uh, batteries are down, so my phones are off. Well, your brother wanted you to do something for him. Okay, so where is he now? He's on his way home. Why don't you relax? Let me get you something to eat while you wait for him. All right. And your soldier boy, where is he? Ah, oh. upstairs, oh. sleeping. <laughs> This is Joseph, and this is Sergeant James. I am Inspector George, the one that spoke with you on the phone. Okay, all right. Well, you already know me, I'm Collins, and this is Genevieve, my uh, missing brother's wife. You're welcome, officers. You're welcome. Yeah. Why, why don't we go in? Oh, don't worry, we're okay. Sure. We are okay. We are here to hear what you have to say, as regards to what leads to the sad events we now face. This will enable us to know how we are going to start our investigation. Okay, 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 that's, that's beautiful. Um, okay. All right, two days ago, yeah, I went to the cafe to do a few things on the internet. And by the time I got back, I met my brother's wife in panic. And when I inquired, she said she had been trying to reach me. Apparently, my phones were off because my batteries were down. 
Yeah, and she said my brother wanted to see me. So I wanted to rush off to his office immediately, but she said I should chill, that he was already on his way, which was exactly what I did. Then we waited for a while, we didn't see him. Right? And she kept on trying his line, you know, till about, uh, that was... Five. Five? So, yeah, five, five, five thirty. Yeah, five thirty. Yeah, till about 5.30 and he wasn't picking up his calls, so we decided to go to his office. We got there, his secretary told us that he left the office around 4 p.m. So we got back home, we tried his line till midnight, he still wasn't picking his calls. So the next day, we tried to reach a few of his friends to see if we could find out from them, you know, his whereabout, but nothing, couldn't get anything. And that was actually when we started panicking. So we decided to reach you guys. Yeah. Madam, do you have any other thing to add? Officer, that's exactly what happened. Ah. Um, could your husband's name be Mr. Gerald Chukuma? Yes. Yes, that's his name. How did you know that? Um, what kind of car does he drive? A black Toyota Camry. About 2008. Yeah. Well, a black Toyota Camry was reported to have been parked for two days along the Kaduna Street. Our office recovered just this morning. But I'm afraid, madam, your husband could be a victim of kidnappers who are here to make contact with you. But um, I'm promising you that we'll get to the bottom of this matter. Look, officer, please, please, I beg you, anything you guys can do to get my brother back, anything, even if you guys want us to pay something, whatever, we are ready to assist you. Please, I, I, I can't afford to lose my own brother. We... Don't worry. As a member of Nigerian Police Force, it's our duty. We will do it. Huh? So don't panic. Um, young man, what do, what do you say you do for a living? Well, uh, <clears throat> um, I'm an international businessman. Yeah, I just got back to the country to see if I could set up my own stuff. Ah. Well, um, in case of any new development, just call me on phone, okay? Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you very much. And please, just do your best. Don't worry. I'm coming to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please, officer, do everything you can. Please. The kind of love we share as brothers. brothers. No one knows I'm just a stranger to you. What? Seriously, is this how these guys work here? Like, asking me what I do for a living? What was that for? It's nothing, colleagues. It's just a usual meticulous inquiries made by the police. They call it a check. Routine check. That's... Though we're same mother, we both share the blood together. Deep, deep down, yours is boiling against me. Then call Collins. Collins? I got that one on phone. But I can't tell you if I understand what that one is saying. Mother, should I tell you the truth? I have my own problems, okay? Let them solve theirs. Are they not men? After all, were they not the one that said uh, it takes uh, blood and iron to make a man? What is it? And where are you going? I'm going out. Or do you have a problem with that? Please wait. Your call is being forwarded.
your dream to keep my woman All those smiles are box of envy I know Yet you're my brother My brother Your desire has got dimension You can't plot against your own blood Dream to keep my woman. All those smiles are box of envy. I know. Yet you're my brother. My brother. Your desire has got dimension. You can't plot against your own blood. the chance to be a brother's keeper but you blew it now I'll teach you the lesson the hard way <laughs>
I killed my brother because I want to have her. And why the hell is she proving stubborn? I must have her, or I'm gonna kill her, you will. All your dream to keep my woman, all those smiles and walks of envy. the matter with you? I don't know what is happening, but my husband is missing. What? Your husband has been... What do you mean? The police said he's not missing, but I have every reason to be worried. I mean, for three days now he hasn't called me, and he's not taking his call either. Oh my God. And, and where is Collins? Collins is not helping matters. He's at home, but he seems reluctant. I mean, I'm confused. I, I don't know what to do. Okay. Calm down, my angel. Oh, please do me one favor. Pull yourself together and take good care of my grandson. I'll be there shortly. Okay? Collins, I want you to tell me all you know about the disappearance of your brother. Well, officer, I've told you everything I know. Okay, and my brother will come back. I mean, he left a son and a beautiful wife, so we all believe he'll get back. He'll get back home. Our forensic officers reported that your fingerprints were found on the steering of the car that was recovered. How can you explain how your fingerprints got to the steering? Oh, Christ. For God's sake, what do you want me to explain? The car in question belongs to my brother, so of course I drive the car. Our forensic officers confirmed authoritatively that your fingerprints were above the one that your brother left. It goes to show that you drove the car after him. I'm sorry, officer. I don't know what you're talking about. What I'm saying is that we now have the reason to believe that you drove the car after him. Officer, that's a lie. That's a bloody lie. I mean, you just can't walk into this place and accuse me of what? I, I, I order you to shut up and answer police questions. Officer, I will not shut up. Because what you're doing is not fair. I mean, the person that is missing is my brother. He can't just walk in here and uh, accuse me of what I didn't do. Look, I put it to you that you are the same person who abandoned the car we recovered. Yes. Collins. Don't tell me you know something about my husband's disappearance. You see what I hate about this country? This is exactly what I hate about this country. We just have some, some lousy policemen in some cheap clothes. They do nothing and that's why nothing works. Don't worry. Well, I'm going to prove to you that we are competent police officers. Yes, you prove it. Do your job. Yes. I have something to show all of us outside. And I want all of you to come with me. Okay, young man. Collins. Okay, Puga. Let's go! And yeah, uh, that's it. That's the development master plan. Everything is down there. Let's check it out. Oh, I see. They've got huge plans, huh? Yeah. High rise houses, playground.
the man now, huh? Who's the freaking man? Pussy. My name is Ume. I saw the man who attacked you. And it was obvious he wanted you dead. Can you tell me who the man was? He is my brother. What? Your own brother? Why in this world we didn't want you dead? I don't know. I guess the world has become a very complicated place where men have become extremely unpredictable. Uh, I would, um, I would like to stay here for a few more days so I can perfect things before going back to town. I hope you don't mind. No, 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 no. You're happy to stay. You can stay as long as you want to. And please, if you want me to do anything for you, just ask. I will do it. Okay? Thank you. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you very much. You're right. You are under arrest for attempted murder and criminal carnivals. You have the right to stay silent. Yeah. Officer, handcuff him. Colin, how could you? How could you think of killing your brother? Put him inside the car. Madam, it's okay. Madam, put him inside the car. Madam, it's okay. Pretty wife, you know 